As Dan has said on this show many times before, including just Thursday night, the defund the police movement was always foolish. And little by little, thankfully, the people who once promoted that movement now seem to be realizing just how absurd it actually is. And the latest example of a pro-defund advocate making a sudden about face came in San Francisco last week, where Hillary Ronan, a Democratic supervisor in the city, made a passionate appeal during a city budget hearing to fund police in a big way. Ronan was outraged about high crime in her district and demanded additional police resources be directed to the area. We've been begging for more footbeats and for more officers in the Mission District. I've been begging this department to give the mission what it deserves in terms of police presence all year long. And I have been told time and time and time and time again, there are no officers that we can send to mission. It hurts and I feel betrayed by the department. I feel betrayed by the mayor. I feel betrayed by the priorities of this city. More footbeats, more officers, that would surely be a welcome relief to those living in that crime play district. Of course, more footbeats and more officers makes, takes more money. And in 2020, with the defund the police movement, all the rage among many Democratic politicians, guess who called for the San Francisco Police Department to receive less funding? Hillary Ronan. She tweeted, quote, I want to make it clear that I believe strongly in defunding the police and reducing the number of officers on our force. For decades, we've had an imbalance in our city's budget with hundreds of millions of dollars going to SFPD to have them do work they are not qualified to do. Well, Ronan's sudden awakening follows that of San Francisco's Mayor London Breed. Back in July of 2020, Breed helped reallocate $120 million away from law enforcement towards investment in the black community. But by the end of 2021, with crime skyrocketing, Breed had seen enough. And it's time that the reign of criminals who are destroying our city, it is time for it to come to an end. And it comes to an end when we take the steps to be more aggressive with law enforcement, more aggressive with the changes in our policies, and less tolerant of all the that has destroyed our city. You can't make this up. Joining us right now, Lieutenant Tracy McRae. She's the president of the San Francisco Police Officers Association. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really do appreciate it. What do you make of this about a face from uh, Supervisor Ronan? I mean, really, what did people expect? She's like a contortionist, twisting herself every which way to, you know, get what she wants. But let's be totally honest here. It's about her constituents in that district who are saying they want more police. She's still on the defund bandwagon mm -hmm. or even abolishing the police. So it's not her. It's her constituents who are tired of seeing what they're seeing every day happening in that district where they don't feel safe. You wanted a non-police response and you got one. And guess what? The criminals don't care. No. They're assaulting all your civilians. It's interesting you say it's not just her because one of the things, I just remind everybody, there was a recall of the district attorney, uh, Chesa Budin, who changed them. And I'm curious if that changed the minds of politicians in the city. You know, maybe let's, there was need to be a change of course of action. For people like her, no. They were more hurt that he got the boot, <laughs> so to speak. But it didn't change her mind. Yeah. No. So, again, like, you get what you asked for. You wanted a non-police response. You got it. Yeah. And criminals don't care. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.